Siehst du was von der Karriere? Wie ist denn da gegründet? <lacht> I would like to thank uh, Friends of the Earth and uh, Tom for uh, their great contribution in raising awareness in uh, the European Union and mobilizing people in order to achieve the reduction uh, of emissions that is necessary in order to effectively uh, fight climate change. We're actually experiencing that there's a lot of talk about climate change, but nobody is doing it. So we want to have clear commitments we want to be able to check it every year and we want the EU to put up a penalty system so that those countries who are not delivering actually push to do so. My message to politicians would be you finally need to do it. It's more serious. You know, I'm working since 15 years on climate change issues and I'm still shocked what science is telling us. Science is telling us more warnings than I was doing three years ago. It is a very, very serious and very burning issue and they need to stop being timid. If climate change is done right, we can do it, we have the technologies, we can be much more efficient in the way we use energy, but we need legislation in place. The example of the Big Ask campaign in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, where we now have actually a piece of legislation in the Parliament that would oblige the country to do every year 3% CO2 emission cuts, shows very clearly that an individual can do a lot. It was 100,000 people, real people, calling up their parliamentarians, writing letters, being out on the street that made that possible. And we want to repeat that on the European level now in the 17 countries that are joining Friends of the Earth Europe's Big Ask campaign. Uh, the Big Ask dot EU, the Big Ask EU, um, you go on a, a website and that will give you clear um, help as, as to where you should go first. But um, uh, I would say personally, be surprised how a, a few letters to your MPs and stuff, how powerful it is. Because um, the other thing you have to remember is a lot of MPs throughout Europe, just like the UK, would love to do something about this. But they are constantly harangued and harassed by uh, lobbyists from industry um, who don't want it to happen, want it watered down, want to carry on the way it is. And the truth is, we can't carry on the way it is. And it's only you and me that are able to tell politicians that you can't carry on the way it is. I think for the first time on climate change, we're seeing a really structured, well thought through, orchestrated campaign happening at the international level. And I think this is the first time we've seen simultaneous demands going into national parliaments from people across a whole number of countries, 17 in this case, demanding the same kind of legal frameworks be put into effect. And it's all very well for the European Union to be setting out long-term targets, but at the end of the day, even with the powerful uh, legislation that can come from Brussels, the implementation of those targets is going to be at the national level. And that's where we need the mandate from the people, and that's what today we're starting to build. And in a couple of years, I'm sure, Europe will be a very different place on the question of climate change. Hello. Hello. How are you? All right. Friends of the Earth Europe um, is starting today this campaign in 17 different countries. We'll be demanding from national governments and the European Union to commit to binding annual reductions for CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions. And that's why we want clear commitments. We want to be able to check them on a yearly basis, not in 10 years and then all waking up, oop, it didn't work. And we want a penalty system in place on the European Union's level, which um, allows us to push the countries who haven't done their job yet. And in Europe, we have a huge opportunity here for global leadership, because this isn't just about avoiding an environmental threat. The climate change challenge, if approached in the right way, in a planned way with clear laws, is about gaining enormous social and economic benefits. Benefits in the form of warmer homes, greater mobility, lower fuel bills, cleaner air, nicer food, stronger communities, millions of new jobs and a huge new economic opportunity. All of that can come from a planned, clear, long-term response and that's what the Big Ask campaign is all about, is about putting in place the mandate for Europe to take this huge opportunity for global leadership and avoiding the worst consequences of global warming. I think a lot of us probably spend, as parents or, you know, People with jobs, a lot of time occupied doing other things, spend a lot of time worrying about it and feeling that there's, there's nothing, that it's out, already out of our hands. Um, I, I personally think that you can't sustain yourself throughout a day feeling like that. 
You can't look your child in the eye and think, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, kids. You know, um, I, I think that you have to retain hope. And I think that, um, amazingly, something as simple as asking your government to um, sign up to a law that both citizens and business have to commit to, that everybody understands where they're going, everybody understands the direction, a relatively simple thing, you'd thought, would actually make a huge difference. In the UK, you compared the challenge of climate change. Uh, Mr Juniper, in, in your FAQ that you put out today, 